welcome to tech like video tutorials today i'm going to give you one of the key information about data lake what is data lake and uh, what is exactly azure data lake storage and what are the benefits we are getting uh, when, when we are going for uh, cloud data lake and uh, advantages then uh, difference between traditional data warehouse and data lake so primarily most of the people will have a common question what is exactly data lake how it take, how it looks how it looks so data lake primary concept is dfs distributed file system a distributed file system so when it comes to any file storage when it comes to any file storage like a, if you look at a block storage or object storage uh, cloud is providing a both kinds of storages if you have any kind of data any kind of data any type of data like structured semi-structured unstructured which you can store in cloud in both one is object storage that that object storage primarily which you can access using HTTP or HTTPS interface uh, primarily if you consider examples like uh, when you're downloading movies torrents software it's documents right so those kind of storages in cloud will call it as object storage or block storage so which you can go with the uh, number of files any type of files it will store as an object which you can access as an object which you can access as an object so azure is having a blob storage for that so backend physically they are distributing and storing in uh, their cloud data center physical storage that is called physical nodes but when it comes to block storage data lake uh, is another storage type is block storage so where it will split and store uh, as like dfs distributed file system that we'll call it as block storage block storage and both are both are supporting uh, different types of files both are supporting uh, different types of files like uh, structured semi-structured unstructured backup files images videos any kind of data but uh, requirement is very important what is exactly your requirement is it for analytics is it for backup is it for direct access so that is very important so if it is uh, mainly if you are preferring for analytics purpose mainly if you are preferring for analytics purpose then we can choose then we can choose block storage means your data lake gen 2 or gen 1 block storage so whenever you store data internally internally it will split and store into fixed size blocks it is good for analytics it is good for analytics. like your database also it will split and stores into block storage so every database will have a block size similarly big data dfs distributed file system also will have a block size depends on your processing engine okay that may be map reducer or spark so when it comes to data lakes how it looks how it looks and uh, major advantages first we'll understand that if you want to store any kind of data if you want to store any kind of data any type of data any size of data in cloud the common storage is data lake enterprise wide hyperscale repository for big data analytics or big data data processing to store to manage to analyze any type of data any kind of data that is called data lake and the major features if you look at this open source compatibility which you can use any ingestion tools which you can use analytics tool which you can use uh, any reporting tools which you can connect for reading for writing for processing so that is called open source compatibility, which you can use the programming languages and nothing. Unlimited storage, unlimited number of files, hierarchical folder structure. Processing will be massively parallel processing, huge compute, and uh, scale instantly, pay per jobs. So unlimited storage, how much you store, how much you use, you have to pay for that. That is called pay per jobs. Enterprise gate security, cloud level, and integrate seamlessly with the existing infrastructure so you can use any existing project or you can use a new project with as a source or staging as a target so it works for both the etl and elt process you can use as a source you can use as a target you can use as a staging as well so the data lake primarily we are focusing and we are concentrating on big data processing and if you have on-premises data migrating from on-premises to cloud the common storage is data lake and if you have analytics if you have a reporting team if you have any machine learning streaming so the common storage in cloud is data lake and data lake can store can manage any kind any type of data that is and the major advantage here it is hierarchical folder structure hierarchical folder structure means one folder within that another folder one folder 
within that another folder and uh, you can store data in native format native format means as it is if source is csv file as it is you can store csv file if source is video you can store as it is video if source is uh, some database data as it is you can store if you have a large objects database backup scripts as it is you can store that is called native file format storage Consider if you have a CSV file, if you are storing in database, database storage is different. So they'll have their own architecture to store the data. So if you have XML file, but when it comes to database, source will be different. Your target database structure is different. But when it comes to data lake, as it is, it can store. If you have XML file, XML file, it can store. Images, images, videos, videos, audios, audios, as it is. That we will call it as native file format storage. That is called data lake the same data which you can store a number of folders and number of files that's the advantage and which you can use for any purpose which you can use uh, azure data analytics hd inside databricks synapse analytics you can use the programming languages machine learning that data you can use for any purpose any purpose so primarily we'll be ingesting data primarily we'll be ingesting data in native format native format is nothing but as it is we can ingest data into data like that may be batch process that may be streaming process and that data which we can use for any purpose in the real time analytics machine learning any data warehousing project requirement or batch queries which we can extract data from any source system as it is we can ingest into data lake once data is available in data lake that data you can use for any purpose means that ingestion data lake supports plenty of services plenty of tools our programming language to ingest the data into data like you can use ingestion tools you can use programming sdk like you can use a python go language or dot net so multiple languages support is available and uh, adf azure data factory also which you can use for ingestion and uh, adl copy is available and uh, so multiple ways which we can ingest the data once data is available on data like you can use any processing like uh, you can use a data factory synapse analytics or data bricks anything even when it comes to downloading data and sending to different targets, again, you can download the data using API, SDK developer API, or data factory, or AZ copy. So multiple options are available. Multiple options are available. You can ingest data, you can process data, you can download data. Any kind of data, any type of data. That is a major advantage of data lake. So when it comes to how it exactly looks. So if you go to cloud, Azure portal. So we can find the storage account. Uh, storage account supports data like Gen 2, version 2. Gen 1 is another one. But common concept here, you can look at this data like storage. And the symbol also, we see this like symbol. And the hierarchical folders, hierarchical namespace is enabled. So the advantage here, like if you have a Windows operating system like a disk, where you can create one folder within that another folder. So where it will accept any kind of file, any type of file. You can store CSV file, images, videos, compressed file, anything. This is data lake, Azure data lake Gen 2. The same data which you can use for any purpose, maybe backup purpose, maybe analytics purpose, maybe cloud my cloud data, or maybe you are uh, uh, storing from on-premises historical data, you want to store in cloud, you can store here. So that's the advantage of data lake. Unlimited storage, any size, n number of files. Just you have to pay how much you use. So that is called data lake. That is called data lake. The same data lake we can use for any purpose. And when you compare with the traditional data warehouse and data lake, traditional data warehouse primarily they'll store data for analytics purpose. But what kind of data? Only structured data. But data lake can store structured, semi structured, and unstructured, any kind of data. That is the advantage of data lake. And schema definition when it comes to databases, right? Uh, any data warehouse before loading data into data into a data warehouse we need to understand the schema how many columns are there data types that is called the schema will be on right on right and performance will be good and uh, your data warehouse will be having a scale optimizer and which you can store data and the metadata part when it comes to schema while writing data only we will identify that schema that is called schema on right but when it comes to data lake it will accept any kind of data so you can define schema only for analytics when you are reading data that time you can define a schema okay that is called schema on read 
So the data lake can accept any kind of data. So metadata, you don't need to worry about that here. Only you need to think about analytics part. When you are doing analytics, that time you can go with schema and read. Quality part. Obviously, data warehouse is a traditional database where you uh, have a constraints and uh, high, highly curated data or quality data will be there. But uh, data lake, it's a file system. So there is no guarantee on the data quality. Okay, this is one of the disadvantages from data lake. Data quality, there is no guarantee because it's a raw data, any type of data. Then users, mainly data warehouse will be using for traditional BI, traditional analytics purpose. So when it comes to data lake, can be used for any purpose. Maybe data engineers can use, data scientists can use, machine learning can use, data analysts can use. Because different types of data, any team can use the same data lake. Okay. Then price and performance. Data warehouses will have a limitation like a storage part limitation will be there and only structured data it will store and uh, performance anyway you'll get a better performance but uh, less data only okay storage cost is high storage cost is high but storage limitation will be there and uh, when it comes to uh, querying uh, depends on depends on data depends on queries but uh, when it comes to data lake data lake storage cost is very less compared to data warehouse unlimited storage unlimited storage Performance also, also MPP, right? So parallelly processed, distributed file system. So you'll get a better performance than data warehouse. Accessibility part, data lake primarily uh, depends on cloud, which cloud it is, are it in warehouse, because the backend is file system, which role-based access, rollback, and uh, ACL, access control list, file and folder level access, which we can manage. And based on that, we can manage that. But databases primarily, Oh, it's not a file system. It's an entirely internal structure will be there. So tables and columns will be there and uh, we'll go with only role based access. ACL won't be there in data warehouse. Files folders won't be available in data warehouse only in data lake. That is called ACL access control list. So this is about data lake and data warehouse. Every system is having one advantages disadvantages so based on the requirement we can choose that when it comes to cloud default storage which for any purpose data engineering purpose analytics purpose will prefer data lake will prefer data lake if you like this video please subscribe my channel see you in another video thank you